Hello, I'm Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, and I'm here today to clear up some of the confusion about our recently passed abortion ban. While it's true we've banned abortions during the first nine months of pregnancy, we actually do allow termination following the ninth month through a variety of postnatal abortion offerings, from school shootings to poor education. Alabama's abortion bill broadens the scope of heartbeat bills that have already passed in Ohio, Georgia, and Missouri. And just like those states, we provide many safe, non-hormonal options for postnatal abortion. For women living in rural areas, we offer the lack of accessible hospitals. I campaigned against Medicaid expansion in my last election. If waiting for your local hospital to close, as 13 of ours have in the past eight years, seems like too long of a wait, we offer several fast-track solutions. Just not faster than nine months. In our opioid fast-track, We'll give your newborn a cute koala-shaped fentanyl lollipop to suck on that gets them hooked young. Mmm. Tastes like Alabama. More opioids get prescribed here than our state's population, so you'll have much better access to this form of abortion than getting to one of the two Planned Parenthoods still open in the state. There were over 20 abortion clinics open in Alabama in the 90s, but now there are only three. Another great example of the incredible strides we're making to move away from prenatal abortions towards more postnatal abortions. As the birthplace of many notable African Americans, and the host state of the civil rights landmark Selma to Montgomery marches. We are proud to combat racism, no matter which side we're on. For black women, we provide some of the best access to postnatal abortions in the world. Last year, Alabama was bumped down to second place for highest infant mortality rates, which is the number of children who die before their first birthday. Black infants in Alabama died at over double the rate of white infants, despite accounting for just a third of overall births. Pretty impressive. The rate of black infant deaths here was higher than in countries like Iran and Syria. Just another example of how we're winning the war on terrorism. And while we do restrict abortions during the first nine months, I think you'll be pleased with our expanded postnatal offerings because we have the highest per capita death penalty rate in the country. And we're the only state which allows judges to impose a death sentence against a juror's verdict of life imprisonment. So whether you're a young millennial or 82 years old in your 1,000th week of gestation, we can still abort you in the form of capital punishment. It's incredibly important for us to preserve the life of our unborn children so our judges and politicians can try to date them when they turn 14. Hey, it's Lily. If you like college humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout for the low price of five items off the dollar menu per month. You do the math. You'll get videos like this a whole week sooner. To chat with us live in the Dropout Discord and get exclusive content like Dimension 20. There are no stupid questions. Are you my freaking dad? <laughs> sign up for your free trial today. Did you do the math from earlier? And if you did, can you tell me how much it was? I'm bad with numbers.